We used to have each other's playlists No, no We used to be each other's best friends Yeah And now we go our separate pathways But your heart's still in mine Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to another vlog. Happy Sunday. This will go up on Sunday morning. It's actually Friday today and I'm going to do another little fitnessy vlog. I'm still on my 75 slight struggle grind. If you have not seen my 75 slight struggle, I did do a whole YouTube video about it, uh, but I will pop it here just as a reminder. You can make up your own five, but they're basically five habits that I'm keeping up with for the next 75 days to try and build some better habits into my daily routine to try and get consistent again. And I am continuing on with that. I thought I would just open this up with a little update. I've still been sticking to it really well. I did have one day off, which was Monday because I got my period on Monday and if you all are me on Instagram or you follow me for a while like a few years you will know I get really really bad periods um, my periods have actually had me hospitalized twice I woke up on Monday in a lot of pain so I wasn't able to train which meant I didn't end up completing my five weight sessions from Tuesday to Tuesday I did actually have to miss one um, I didn't hit my step goal and I also didn't get up on time. Um, I slept a little bit longer because I also get really, really, really tired when I'm on my period. And I did actually post an Instagram story about it because the whole thing with 75 hard is you're meant to restart if you have a day where you don't hit things. And one of my gorgeous followers did actually send me a message in response to what I'd said, which was essentially, I'm not doing that with this challenge because to me, what I believe in, and for me, it just reinforces the idea that if you have one off day, it discounts all your hard work and you're starting all over again and that's what that's the idea it reinforces to me but other people restarting it will be a really good initiative to not fall off the wagon at any point and to hit it every single day what one of my followers actually messaged me saying and i completely get it like her sister i think she said does it and she was like isn't that sort of the whole point because it's meant to deter you falling off with it or not hitting the goals but for me, with my period pains, that's something I don't have control over. And there is no, it wasn't a discipline issue on Monday. There is no amount of discipline that is gonna get me to the gym, get me doing seven, seven and a half thousand steps a day when I'm in that much pain. But all I did from Tuesday is just get back on it. Um, I have definitely been more tired this week, but I'm still in myself feeling so much better. And I think the exercise is helping me feel better. Um, I started doing some sprints, well, let's not call it sprints, running intervals, which I've been really enjoying. Sticking to the things that I've said I'm gonna stick to is really helping me feel good mentally too. So yeah, it's Friday today. I have got a closet clear out that I wanna do today um, in my January refresh. I'm gonna go through all my Alphalete bits, make up like four to five packages of stuff, put them on my Instagram, um, I probably won't actually pick winners until after this vlog has gone up, so I will leave the Google form below, but basically then get people to choose which package they would want and then I'll use a random generator for each numbered package. I'm actually going to be moving back home um, in like March time, so I need to start... Um, you know, emptying out my closet again. And I do do this every few months anyway, but I used to just send individual items, but it got to the point where last time I had like 30 to 40 pieces to send. And for whatever reason, I never end up picking people that are in England. So they have to go quite far. The customs forms take me quite a while and it's just very time consuming to send 40 separate packages. So doing it this way, an upper body session, which I'm gonna show you my upper body session. I'm gonna do it mic'd up, but I also wanna show you my running because this is something I've only just started last week. And don't worry, this is not gonna turn into a weightlifter turned runner account, although there's nothing wrong with that but that's not what this is about to turn into. The reason why I do want to show it is because I'm not a runner. I'm actually quite scared to run on treadmills. I've only just worked up the courage to go up to 13 on the treadmill speed. So 
I just want to show you I feel like it's good for you guys to see me doing something that I'm not used to doing and that I'm not particularly good at or an expert at so that you guys can see that you could have been going to the gym for years I've been in the gym for you know over six years and I'm still not 100% comfortable with, it, with everything I've also decided this year I want to get my first pull up I am about to go home to pick up some Amazon packages that I really 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 need to pick up so I'm gonna go and do that now oh my god before I go I need to tell this story on YouTube I told it on Instagram yesterday guys I was driving oh do you like my nails by the way we've just gone with a normal pink this time was driving from getting my nails done to the gym yesterday just driving along and then all of a sudden I went to go through this green light and then all I am not joking I actually don't know where this motorbike came from all of a sudden whips out in front of me and I'm like okay cheers mate thanks for that thanks a bloody lot and he's like I'm like okay I mean I'll stop but what's going on first of all I did my mind did automatically go to oh my god like maybe my because I've got like a slow puncture in my rear left tire which I really need to fix and I was like oh my god has my wheel like come off or something or is it on fire and then I was like no because he wouldn't be coming in front of me it would probably be someone behind me beeping or at the side then I was like oh my god no like maybe someone's had a crash on the road I need to go down and then I was like oh. I was looking down the road and I was like I can't really see anything going on down there all of a sudden one Range Rover no Land Rover whips around the corner another Land Rover followed by a Defender followed by like six to eight more bikes and I was like eh the fuck is going on but as soon as you see it's a Land Rover I don't know if this is just like a UK thing I'm not sure what the American elites travel in I was like oh this is a big dog to the gym and I was googling I was like who is this couldn't find anything put it in my discord group and if there is one thing the discord girls are gonna do they're gonna come through with what you need to know within five minutes Gabby was like it's Prince William she sent me the link someone was walking to Sainsbury's someone literally said in my discord group and it's so true imagine walking to Sainos and Prince William just drives past you I'm not even a royal fan but I believe you could not be a fan of something and still be like that's actually quite bloody cool and I was thinking because you could see the people in the car I thought god they all look very smart you know they're like quite smart people um and yeah it was Prince William that's why he was here but <laughs> the thing is and I did say this on Instagram you know it would be nice because I know because I was right at the front he, you know he's probably seen the dent in my bonnet and I got a quote for that this week and it's not looking beautiful it's not looking pleasant so if he could you know lend us a tenner offer to repair it I'd be open to the idea is all I'm saying and let's just you know get a show on the road there he is okay so i'm now back from picking up my amazon deliveries which was three of these because um i had to keep i haven't printed the labels for some giveaway boxes that i need to send out yet so i had to change my like post office pickup thing um like slot to tomorrow and i was sat there and i was like this is my new because i'd already bought the stuff before i discovered this and i was like it feels so disingenuous to send people a box of goodies without sending them one of these so i've got three of these so i'm just gonna pop them in the boxes but i feel like let's show you the sort of stuff that goes in these boxes all actually different like they all have different stuff in them um they're not all equal they're not all the same so this one i always ask people what they want so let me actually just pop her little body lotion in there so she's for example got some ghost hot cocoa a pre-workout and then she wanted beauty stuff so i've got some living proof hair care um some tan looks i believe it is fake tan she's got a replica candle she's got a Sol de Janeiro set, some NARS liquid blushes and a face mask and then for people that want more like fitnessy stuff um, this girlie wanted some Alphalete bits so I got a two full matching sets I got her the hot, 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 <laughs> the hot cocoa again pre-workout and the ghost size which is their like creatine but yeah I will probably see you when I am about to 
go to the gym and make a pre-workout. For now, I'm gonna sit down and do some work. And I've also got a like call thing at 1 p.m. because I'm helping someone with, they're doing like a uni project basically on like deep fakes and like fake Twitter accounts, fake social media accounts, um, deep fake like pornography. Um, because if you don't know, I actually had a fake Twitter account of me for a very long time and they were making like artificial intelligence nudes. Um, it's now thankfully been taken down, but ex Twitter didn't want to do anything about it. It was going for like five years. God knows how much money they made. Um, I really dread to think how much money they made. I feel like I should be entitled to some of that coin. You know, they used my images, but yeah. So that account is now gone, but it did take a like semi-viral TikTok of me speaking about it for them to actually do something about it. Um, not five years worth of reporting and uploading my ID and saying, hi guys, this actually isn't me. Um, they didn't seem to care about that. So yeah, I'm gonna help her out with that. So I've got a call for that at one. But I come with some work and I'll see you when we're about to go and hit up her and carry on. Okay, I'm at the gym. It's actually a lot later than I would usually train. So I'm gonna try and not get in the way of my camera because it's actually approaching 5 p.m. which is like the busiest time for gyms. I'm gonna do upper body today and I'm gonna show you my pull-up practice first because I actually can't do a full pull-up unassisted. I sort of could do one before I got my boobs done, but ever since I've had my boobs done, by the way, word to the warning, if you want implants under the muscle, you may struggle to get a wide grip pull-up. Um, but I'm not practicing wide grip because I don't think I'll be able to get it. Even though you are using your back, there's something about that movement that puts a lot of stress on my pecs and like the, the feeling of like separation of my implants is so uncomfortable. So I was just doing them assisted on the assisted pull-up machine. However, I did actually get a lot of messages from people saying that when they stopped doing that and started doing some actual like dead hangs, negatives, um, scapular retractions, they got their pull up a lot quicker. I want to start doing negatives, but right now I actually can't do them because the strength is just not there yet. Also, if you have been watching the videos, you'll know I've taken a lot of time off recently. So I'm going to do two sets of dead hangs first, and then I'm going to do two sets of scapular retractions. Triple five shit, uh, on a white band It's smoke it up, uh, yeah, burn it up, uh, yeah, pour it up Yeah, I gotta drink it up, uh, yeah, smoke it up Yeah, burn it up, uh, yeah, pour it up Yeah, I gotta drink it up, uh, when you're doing dead hangs you're mainly focusing on improving your grip strength which mine is actually pretty decent to be honest from doing rdls i don't use straps all the time um but i still feel like my grip holding my own body weight is very different to my grip on an rdl also i am using a slightly different grip so i'm doing my scap the retractions and it basically is teaching you how to recruit um the right muscles for initiating the pull up at the bottom of the movement so like a bit of a weird movement but trust me when you're like in the hanging position it actually feels quite natural to do it it sort of is like a shrugging motion so yeah i do two sets of those at the moment and then i think i'm going to start doing negatives in a couple of weeks but that is my so i've had to actually just stop my upper body workout because i was definitely getting in people's waves with my camera and i just don't want to do that like other people's workouts and comfortability and stuff is more important than my silly little vlog and filming um so i've just decided to just hop onto the treadmill because there's not many people up here dad is in the background there um i just don't want to be making people feel uncomfortable so i'm gonna do my running but i'm glad i got to film my pull-up practice if you have been watching my videos for a while you will know i am not a runner i am not a track star 
I don't run, but something in me last week was like, I keep on seeing like Kelly Matthews, Brenda, all these people doing sprints and it just looks so fun. Like it just looks so much fun. Now these are definitely not gonna be sprints because I am not that comfortable running on a treadmill yet. Um, I can't even jump off the belt. That scares me. If anyone's got any tips for that, let me know. We do actually have an assault runner, but that terrifies me as well. So if anyone's got any assault runner tips or sprinting on a treadmill and getting on and off the belt tips, let me know. Because everyone always says it's dangerous if you hesitate and I will hesitate because it scares me. But basically what I've been doing is like a couple minute warm up, then I go into a light jog then i basically sprint on and off for like 20 ish minutes so that's what i'm going to be doing i keep saying sprint i mean run um and speeds i'm doing like five for my walk and then i've finally worked up to 13. i might try 14 today but i also might not be able to so i also just feel like like i said earlier it's important for people to see that you could have been in the gym for years there's still things you can learn like my running technique is not going to be perfect i've got new balance on as well which to be fair they're actually not that bad I've got my 530s on, they're actually okay. You know, I'm not I'm not someone with all the gear. I'm also not anyone with any idea when it comes to running, so tips are welcome. Yeah. I'ma rock out to the day and nigga Lee Earth Supreme canvas pants skid roll on the t-shirt All these hatin' niggas sweet and make your teeth hurt Last one standing and I know they mad that we first Out of sight still residing on the south side But it's still love for the north I was outside Stand on the bitch tell her jump she say how high I hope you move walkie so a nigga had to downsize I'ma rock out to the day and nigga Lee Earth Supreme canvas pants skid Roll on a t-shirt All these hating niggas sweet and make your teeth hurt Last one standing and I know they mad that we first Out of sight still residing on the south side But it's still love for the north I was outside Stand on the bitch tell her jump she say hi hi Homie move walkie so a nigga had to downsize actually rolling this vlog on over two days because I didn't get to finish my vlog yesterday because I was I had a lot of stuff that went on yesterday and I just I was gonna try and finish the vlog but I just didn't want to put those bad vibes out there um, and yeah I <laughs> it wouldn't have been interesting anyway because I really wasn't in the mood um the gym was super busy yesterday which means I only really got to do pull-up practice one back movement which you'll have seen and then my sprints um my sprints did actually go well I'm saying sprints again I'm doing it again my run actually went okay I went up to 14 and I am starting to feel a lot more comfortable sort of keeping up with the um belt and stuff I didn't get to do much of my upper body workout um I could have done it it wasn't too busy to train but it was definitely too busy to film and like I said other people's sort of comfortability um and being able to finish their workouts is a lot more important than me filming my little workout in the gym so yeah, I just, <laughs> I stopped, paused, and just did my, um, filmed my running instead. So today we are doing a closet clear out, which I think I mentioned yesterday. Um, so I'm gonna show you that. I've just got ready for the gym. I'm not gonna film my session because it's the exact same session that I posted in last week's vlog. So it feels a little bit redundant, but I wanted to show you my gym fit because I've been a little inventive with it today. So I've put my, unity hoodie on and i've tucked it all the way around these are the unity hoodies the ones that have got this like world thing at the back um and usually i'm a heavyweight girl when it comes to joggers and hoodies and stuff but i actually really like for this time of year these hoodies are perfect for training in um because they're not too thick but i need that extra warmth in the gym because my gym is cold and then my galactic ocean amplify leggings these are honestly probably one of the best material amplifiers in my experience anyway obviously everyone can have a different experience that they dropped last year that like significantly thicker and I feel like because they're a little bit thicker and a bit more compressive they actually do something for the glutes even in the leggings and then I've got my Ralph Lauren socks on which one of the queens in my discord group actually works in the sock department at Ralph Lauren and she sent me a bag full of Ralph Lauren socks which is just just 
so bloody sweet. So yeah, we are gonna get to the gym and then do a closet clear out. Let's just roll the vlog on, do you know what I mean? Peaks, peaks lol. If you have seen, I've actually worn this in vlogs before. I think the first vlog I wore it in was my I took a month off the gym. But Alphalete are basically, these are coming in cropped and long versions. Um, and yeah, I've just got a little cropped one. This is a size extra large. I think these are dropping at the end of January, but I love that they're starting to branch out into doing some different designs because let's be honest, you can only, you know, print Alphalete in block logos on so many colour hoodies before you've, you know, you've done like Pokemon and you've got them all. So I'm excited for these and they are gonna come in a full length version. And in terms of the uh, fabric blend, it's the same as the Alphalette hoodie, <laughs> um, like the wolf head hoodie that they dropped with contour so yeah one of my new faves to be honest but yeah end of January for those and I don't think I showed you my little ghosty haul so I ordered these because they had a really good deal on the other day and I'm really sorry the deal is not on anymore but they had buy one get one 50% off on all the protein products and you could use an athlete code on top so I got four tubs of protein including two chocolate peppermint hot cocos because I'm quite literally obsessed for like 79 pounds which is unheard of from ghost like usually it's quite up there for pricing um so yeah I got two of the chocolate peppermint hot cocos because once these are gone they're gone and they won't come back again until next year I don't think and I honestly like it's probably one of my favorite protein supplements I've ever tried they're just so good and it doesn't taste overly protein-ish either. The normal milk chocolate one I actually don't like. I think that tastes very protein-ish, but yeah, I've even got a third tub back there. Um, and then I got the vegan peanut butter cereal milk. I did put this in my oats yesterday, which you'll have seen in this vlog. Gonna be completely honest, it's definitely not my favourite. It is definitely a more vegan vegan protein and if you've tried vegan proteins you know exactly what i mean it's a little bit earthy but with some honey in my oats it wasn't you know awful and then i just got a normal chocolate chocolate um way for daniel so yeah that's my little ghost haul but we want to get back for a little closet clear out okay i'm now back from the gym i swear the horror says but so do i you know that little meme that is how i feel because I just, I don't think the universe wants me to get this vlog up tomorrow because it's now 25 to 4. <sighs> and I've got a lot of climb work to do and still got to edit this video and I've still got to film me do my closet clear out and do my closet clear out. The whole of like Leeds City Centre is like gridlocked. So what is normally like a 10 minute drive was I shit you not like over an hour to get to the gym. So that wasn't ideal, but we're back. I'm feeling a lot better. If you're ever in like a foul ass mood, sometimes training won't help. A lot of the time it will help and I'm still not feeling quite excellent about life, but I'm feeling a damn sight better than I was earlier. Now it's time to tackle the situation behind me, which is the closet. I've also got stuff under my bed. Um, I do need to do like a full closet cleanse at some point, including non alphalete bits, but my priority today is alphalete bits that I want to get rid of because I want to give them away on Instagram. Um, like I mentioned, I'm going to do like a few packages, make a few packages up and I'm going to make a Google form document and I will leave the link to that below um, so that you guys can tap in if you want any. Um, and at the end of my clear out, I'll pop on the screen like what I've got, what's in each package and then the Google form will be linked below because I'm not going to pick people till Monday. So you guys have got all of Sunday um, as well. And yeah, I'll pick people at random. It's open worldwide. Anyone can enter it. Um, so yeah, let's set you up and start the process. Okay, I have set you up so we can get into the closet. I want to preface this. I might time lapse quite a bit of it, but um, I want to preface this with, I'm not bragging about how much stuff I've got. I know I own a ridiculous amount of stuff and I really want to be clear. My clear out, 
there is still going to be a lot of stuff that a lot of people might think you should probably get rid of that as well. The reason why I try and keep one item of each colour or one item of each thing, even if it's not something I love, is just for review purposes. But with the items that I don't enjoy, I try to only keep one of them. I don't keep multiple. Um, and yeah, like with amplifying stuff, say there's a colour that I don't wear a lot. If I've got like the shorts or the bra or I've got both, I will only keep one of them. Um, yeah, my closet is not really giving the Instagram aesthetic baddie closet, but I feel like it's really important to note, guys, you do not need to be consuming on the same level that an influencer does. And I don't want this to come off preachy and like holier than now. This is just for people who do actually genuinely struggle a little bit with it and feel like shit sometimes about what they own or feeling like they need to own everything. Coming from someone who owns a lot of stuff, which I am so grateful for, so grateful to do what I do, but coming from someone who owns a lot of stuff, you are never going to wear it all. You know when you see people with, with like, you know, they've got like 50 sports bras lined out, all the leggings, and they've got like 50 pairs and the colour coordinated, and it looks amazing, and you know what, maybe some people do use all of it, but I certainly don't. I typically tend to find, and I find with most people, you'll have a few items you really love and you'll rotate them. And there might be like seasonal changes. Maybe you're more of a bright girly in the summer. Yeah, that level of consumption that you see on Instagram with like the whole active wear wardrobes is not normal. And if, it, if it's something that brings you joy and you love it and you want that and you want to do it and it doesn't stress you out, you're not putting yourself under any financial stress, pop off. This is just for those who actually, you know, having a lot of stuff, I mean, there are definitely worse problems to have, but it actually can be quite stressful having a lot of stuff. I feel like it's the same as money. Everyone says there's like a peak amount that you can earn. I think they've actually done studies on it and anything above that doesn't really improve your quality of life. I would say that works 100% the exact same way with stuff or belongings. And I would actually argue with belongings, it can get to a point where it stresses you out more. So let's fix this up. But yeah, I just want to say this is not a normal amount of stuff for someone to own. I am so aware of that. Um, I don't want to piss anyone off. So yeah, just a little word to the warning and some thought process. Generally, when I'm doing a general closet clean out, if anyone wants tips, if I've not worn it in a year, I try to get rid of it. The reason why I don't do the six month thing is because seasonally I actually do wear quite different things. So the six month thing doesn't work for me because I've done that before. And then when, for example, I've got rid of coats and then when winter rolls around, I'm like, I'm now gonna have to go and rebuy coats because I've got rid of them. So I do 12 months, everyone is different, but yeah, if I'm not worn something in 12 months, generally when I'm doing a general closet clean out, I will get rid of that item because I can try and sit there and tell myself, oh, I'm gonna wear it again, I might wear it for this, I might come in handy. And sometimes with occasion pieces, like I've got a house of CB dress that I've not worn since the end of 2021, but I'm keeping it because I just know I love that dress and there is gonna come a time again where I'm like, I need a really fancy black dress and I can crack that bad boy back out. Um, so yeah, let's move you back a little bit so you can see more of what I'm doing and we'll pop you on a time lapse. So I've done all in here now and in my drawers and this is what I've got so far. I'm actually really proud of myself. I've been pretty, like I've just shown Dan and even Dan's like, whoa, you're getting rid of all that. Like I've been, I've got so many pump covers in here, um, some elements bits. I know that people love elements bits. Um, some crop zips that I just don't really wear. Um, yeah, loads of t-shirts, like a shit ton of t-shirts. So next on the agenda is underneath the bed, which is where the money lies. That is where the goods are kept. Hello, this is <laughs> how I store all my like leggings and stuff. And this has just gotten, to be honest, this has gotten completely out of hand in the past few months. They've dropped contour, so much amplify, so much aura. Um, 
and as I get like new pieces in I feel like it's easier to get rid of some of my old pieces so I guess it's time for us to sort through this shenanigans again um like i said how i generally do it is if i've already got like certain colors for example like i, I prefer my galactic ocean leggings so i'm gonna get rid of the shorts um so that's something that i'm getting rid of straight away i'm gonna also get rid of my electric purple shorts I never wear them, I way prefer the leggings, so I'm going to get rid of those shorts. Even like with recent drops, I'm going to get rid of some stuff. So I think I'll keep my Times Square shorts, but I'm going to get rid of the leggings because I'm not going to use them. I'm not really a legging person anyway, um, and it's a very, very, very sort of stark colour. I'm going to get rid of it. I'm not getting rid of any of my contour shorts because... Sorry guys, I think there's one more drop of contour next month and then it's not coming back again. And I've actually been preferring them to bikers recently. So whilst they're still around, I'm gonna keep my paws on some. And then bras from the recent draw. Don't see myself wearing Central Park a ton, so I'm gonna get rid of that. Don't need a skyscraper deep V and an XL bra. So I'm gonna get rid of my skyscraper XL bra as well. I'm gonna time lapse you now because otherwise I'm gonna chew your ear off and this video is gonna be hours long. So cue a, cue a nice little time lapse. god i've just finished my memory card actually cut out when i was doing that but i went all the way to the back and i've actually pulled out a significant chunk of stuff i've got this very tall pile here full of stuff t-shirts amplify alpha Lux, sports bras um i don't have as many amplify bottoms in this as i have before but i feel like it's just because i've culled quite a lot already but i honestly feel so much better for doing this so I'm gonna now sort of try and sort this into different piles that make sense and then I can let everyone know and I'll pop it on the screen here I'll pop it up here what's in what pile and I will leave the link to the google form below but yeah I'm gonna sort this out now but yeah that's it for this vlog I think I'm actually gonna leave this vlog here just because I am literally gonna be sorting out these packages now um, and what I'm gonna put in each one for the rest of the night. I need to edit this video. Me and Dan wanna go to Nando's tonight. I've got some client work to do, so I'm gonna leave this vlog here, but I always like my vlogs to have a purpose. And I feel like this vlog didn't go to plan, but I just feel like the past 24 hours just didn't go to plan. And for example, like when I was in the gym, you know, not being able to do my usual session. I feel like, honestly, I'm quite privileged. I can always train whenever I want, which means I can go when the gym is quieter. And I chose to go at rush hour and it was so busy. Full respect to anyone who consistently trains at that time because it was actually pretty busy and my gym doesn't really get busy, but it was actually quite busy and it was, you know, having to think about what I'm doing not being able to stick to my program obviously the fact i was filming did also impact things i would have probably been able to do a little bit more had i not been filming but that is my own fault um but i still continue to do with what i could do i didn't you know throw i mean i nearly threw a tantrum but i didn't throw a tantrum and be like i'm not doing my cardio i'm not filming i'm not finishing this vlog i've carried on filming the vlog it's not a big deal we've just filmed it over two days I still did what I could and I felt so much better. For example, after going to the gym today, I really couldn't be asked to go, but I felt so much better for going. And I felt so much better after I finished my sprints yesterday. My shins don't feel great today, but I did feel a lot better after doing it. So I guess the moral of this story is shit will not always go to plan, but that doesn't mean you need to throw the whole plan in the bin so to speak and i feel like that also ties in quite nicely with my 75 slight struggle this week because i've been on my period i get quite bad periods and like i spoke about right at the start of this vlog yesterday morning i couldn't do my 75 slight struggle on monday because i wasn't well enough to train i couldn't go and get steps in because i was in a lot of pain and i could have just been like i'm not doing the challenge anymore or you know i'm not doing anything this week now you know i've started it off 
again. Oh, Siri's been recording me. But like, I've started it off on such, starting my week off on such a bad note. Like, I've ruined my entire week. I'm just not gonna bother. That's just not a healthy way of going about things. It's an all or nothing mentality, which will not get you very far and also it's just not a healthy mindset to have something a lot of my clients actually struggle with and it's something we work on you want to move more towards a growth mindset so maybe your day didn't go to plan maybe your week didn't go to plan maybe the start of 2024 hasn't gone to plan but it doesn't mean the rest of the year needs to be an absolute train wreck shit show and you just don't put any effort into anything because you've got off on the wrong footing you can still turn it around you're having a bad day you can still have a good week you're having a bad start to the weekend you can still have a good weekend i had a shit start to my weekend i'm still gonna try and have a bloody good weekend so yeah i think that's where i'm gonna leave this vlog um i am still feeling because i said i'd give updates on my 75 slight struggle i am still really enjoying doing it i've definitely noticed an improvement in my mental well-being since i started doing it and since i just started sticking to my word a bit more if i'm gonna train five times a week i'm gonna train five times a week if i'm gonna get up at x time i'm gonna get up at x time i don't think i realized just how much it was sort of impacting my mental well-being or how i felt about myself just constantly saying i was gonna do things and not doing them like even down to like obviously i really you know i love track suits i love track suits and i'd love to make my own and i just i feel like for like five years now i've been saying i want to do my own thing i want to make my own thing and i'm just not doing it and there isn't really a reason to be honest like i'm just procrastinating doing it and in doing so i'm just reinforcing the idea that i can't do it when really no one bloody knows what they're doing you've just got to start i feel like momentum is everything as soon as you start you just you know you get things just start moving and honestly the more people you meet who you might deem as really successful and they know their shit and they know what's going on the more you realize no one has a fucking scooby what they're doing okay none of us have got a scooby what i'm doing i will see you in my next video let me know if there's anything in particular you want to see um for example if you just want like a gym vlog next week um i could maybe repeat the session i did last week um and we can see how my strength is progressing but in general my strength is actually coming back quite nicely my session today went pretty well um my soreness isn't too bad so i'm feeling good feeling fresh but let me know what sort of vlogs you want to be seeing whilst i'm still doing my 75 slight struggle and i will see you next sunday yeah subscribe if you want to and you haven't already give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and i will see you in the next video and if you are having a bad weekend i hope that this video can cheer you up a little bit link will be below for my giveaway thing